All right, so Foxglove by Bruce Coburn. This is off of his uh, 1973 album, Night Visions. And this is just a really great finger-picking song. And um, before we even get going, I'll tell you that it, it's really not an easy song to play because there's a couple of techniques that you have to kind of have under your belt before you can play it. Um, so you don't see a lot of guys playing this one. I mean, a lot of that is because Bruce Coburn is really not that well-known, especially in places other than Canada. But again, it's just it, it's a tricky one to play. So we're in the uh, we're in C here, uh, but I've got the capo on the first fret. Okay, so if I take the capo off, you want to tune your guitar. I'll put the tuning down here too. Uh, to it's C is the uh, the lowest string. It's C G C G C and E. So, but we've got the capo on the first fret, all right? So now we've got C sharp, G sharp, um, C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, and F. Okay, so that's the tuning. And um, we've got about three or four different parts that we're going to have to learn here. But it's the, the right, this is a real right hand song, okay? The, the left hand doesn't do that much. And it's Travis picked, so you've got this going on throughout the song, right? Like 100% of the time, the thumb is going low E, D string. Or, A string, D string. But it's always Travis picking throughout the whole deal, okay? And the fingers, um, the first pattern you're going to have to learn how to do is this. And that is just... Like, most of the song is played with just a thumb and two fingers. And I'll show you the middle part, which is three fingers in a second. But it's, it's just E string with your uh, second finger, B string with your first finger. With that kind of feel. Okay, so... With the Travis pick, right? I'm going to probably start real slow and work your way up to playing faster because the faster you can do this, or well, the speed that you arrive at is the speed you're going to play the song, right? Because it's... Right? That's how you're... So I would say even before you start learning the notes, practice that, right? Okay, and then the other pattern is where he goes. That one there, and what that is, it's, this is the part where you use three fingers. Third finger on the E string, second finger B, first finger G, and it's. you're doing the Travis pick and the Travis pick on that section is on the A string and the D string so it's like and if I played the proper chord there it'd be like okay so that and then add okay and that, for me, that's the hardest part of playing this song, is that section there. Um, it's just really, really... You know, it, it takes some time to get the coordination on that. Uh, because um, he plays it at like 177 beats per second. Or beats per minute, sorry. And it that's super fast, right? In my demo, I played it about 165, because that's really... <laughs> that's about all I could cope with, right? So those are the two patterns. Okay, and then this one. And I would say just practice those two things, like try to get them.
sews until you can you can get them under your fingers okay so once you got those patterns now we can start learning the notes so we know that the thumb is doing that the whole time so what I'll do is I'll show you the fingers right so that first section would be and I'm gonna count the frets I got the capo on the first fret here um, but I'm gonna count the frets from the nut because I think if I start counting from the capo it'll be too confusing um, so, you know, we know that's the 5th fret, the 7th fret, 8th fret, so on. So we're going to start with E9, uh, and then B8. And this is with two fingers, right? And then open, open. Okay, so... Alright, so again, start slow. he's about here really fast okay but don't try and go too fast you know faster than you can play it clean okay so that's your first pattern and then we're gonna go to this chord which is just a straight bar on the sixth fret now when Bruce Coburn plays it he does this right he bars with his first finger from the fourth string over, D, G, B, and E, and he gets his thumb on the low E. Now, my hand doesn't work that way, I can't do it that way, so I'm just gonna bar. Okay, we're gonna bar straight across. So we've got this, and then we're gonna bar here, and we're gonna go just E, B, E, and then the B string on the eighth fret open E, right? But we gotta have the thumb too, so we're... All right, and then we're gonna do it this part again. Then we're gonna go, right, the trill, but I'm gonna use that trill with my third finger there. I mean, you could use your second. It doesn't really matter. But you're going... So... With the thumb. Okay, so that's your your second sort of cycle. So we've got two things now that we can play. So, um, and, of course, the song just starts out like that. The next section is going to come down here, and we're going to bar on, which is the third fret from the neck, okay? And we're going to go... And again, we've got the Travis Peck, right? And the fingers are going to go... the G string okay now I'm not gonna call every single note because you know would be here for a week but um and then slide up to the eighth fret and hit the open E So far we've got and that is pretty well uh, what happens the next cycle too okay except we just end it different 
and instead of going instead of doing that we're going to go right so just bouncing off the G string hammer on to uh, B6 and then what I do is I just play the open E. Okay, meanwhile, you know, you got your Travis pick, right? Okay. So that's pretty well the main section of it there. And now we're going to get into That part there, right? And I've shown you that picking already, but I'll go over it again. Just backwards, right? From the E string. E, B, G. E, B, G. And keep the Travis pick going. And that chord formation there is uh, A6, D8, and G8. Open B, open E. So... Now we're going to move it down two frets. Okay, so let's come out of this. Now you'll notice that I'm kind of kind of hit that open E string uh, where I'm going. There, just to kind of get you into, uh, you know, get your get your hand going. Okay, so that's that section, and we're going to end that section off by going. So we're going to hit the open A string and we're going to rest the Travis there. It's the only time, right? And we're going to go. So second fret, well, first from the capo, right? Third fret on the B, third fret on the G, and then that kind of little slur down from the fourth on the D4 to D3. And you want to leave those ringing? If you can, like, don't go. Go. Okay, and that's the end of that sort of major part. And then we get into that. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. So let's just go over that whole thing real slow. So right from the start, it'd be like... Moving on, we're going to get into this, um, and we've got that going, and we're going to go. Okay, so we're going to slide up onto the fifth fret of the B, right? And then that's, uh, what is that, 8, B8, E9, and then bar on the sixth, B and E. Now sometimes, because you're going so quick, 
you might not be able to do that. You might wind up going, which is just fine. So that's what you want to do, but you might wind up going. And both will work. It's no problem. Okay, so you add the thumb and you've got. Okay, now you do this again. But you go. off from E2, well, one from the capo. Right, so. Okay, so you put those together, and a little quicker, you got. And you just repeat it, right? going to go okay and this sounds it might sound like the hardest part of the song but it really isn't okay it's really not that tough two fingers we're going to bounce off the B we're going to go 13 on the E 13 11 9 8 6 4 13 11 9 8 6 4 we're going to go with one finger. You can use your first, your third, whatever one you want. I use my middle. And you add the, the thumb in there, right? Okay. And, you know, once you get the thumb in there, it just like, it's like bang. It's like magic, right? So coming out of this... We're going to place uh, this chord in there, and that's just G4, B3, and E2. We're going to go. All right, so we'll worry about the thumb in a second, but because the thumb is doing the same thing, but the fingers are going. So it's two fingers again, right? Uh, the G string, and the pull off. to the B string, then, and that last one is the B and the E, so it's, okay, and then we get the thumb in there. to here. This is the sixth fret and we're just gonna hit the B and the E and right. So that's okay. Now I can't tell you every note on that but it's one. Okay, meanwhile we keep the Travis going. So Okay. And now we're going to bar here two frets up on the eighth fret and we're going to go Travis is just that, right? And we can go. Okay. 
actually we we end on the um, we end on that uh, B8. So. Tricky, right? So we'll take it from here. And then we're back to the top, right? And then just, uh, we, we do um, that cycle one more time, and then we just end it like. So that ending, we're in the middle of the song, we go. This time we're gonna. We're gonna grab that E note too, or not the E note, but the E string. Because those are octaves there. Right, so we're gonna go. And then we're gonna harmonic the uh, B and the E on the 13th, and then the G and the B. So really tough song to play, but when you do get it down, it's, uh, it sounds really good and, and it's fun, you know. But it's really reliant on being able to do that. And being able to do that, right? So, you know, you add the Travis and that and this. And there's three things that you've got to be good at be, to be able to play the song, right? And then to play it at the tempo that he plays it at is, uh, again, that's a whole other thing because he goes super fast. And, I, and you know, that's just natural for him because a lot of his acoustic stuff he plays really quick. It's just kind of the way he rolls, right? Anyways, okay, I'm going to go through the whole thing once really slow um, just so you can play along with it, okay? So here we go.
that's it. Hope you get something out of it, and we'll talk to you next time.